Winding on practice for knot tying. Items required. Suturing practice block. Needle holders. Tissue pickups. Sutures for practicing mare silk. Take the needle with the tissue pickups. Go to reverse grip to unlock the holders. And then pass the needle to the needle holders. Parking the tissue pickups. Holding the needle between the second finger and thumb to protect the patient and the operator from the point of the needle. Go over, over, and then taking the needle holders through the knot and then winding on as you run the knot down onto the staple. Occasionally pulling with the right hand just to help the knot slide down. Now using the first finger to tie the knot and unwinding just once, going under once, pulling through, tightening the knot, going over once, pulling through, tightening the knot. Then practice the winding on exercise over, 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 and then tighten the knot. It's helpful to have the third and fourth finger sticking out straight and have the first finger sticking out straight so that when you go over, over, it's easy to wind on the second and third fingers. If the fingers are too close together, you just have to wind on more times than if they're apart. Take the needle with the tissue pickups. Unlocking the needle holders. Pull the thread through. Pass it back to the needle holders. Parking the tissue pickups. Putting the needle between the second finger and thumb. Going over over and then winding on running the knot down the thread and the first finger to tighten the knot then going underneath once Tightening the knot with the first finger, over once, and then tightening the knot and presenting it to be cut. Now practice the right hand wind on, ensuring you've got the needle in the correct place and the tissue pickups part. Hold the other end of the thread with the needle holders in reverse grip. Wind on, keeping the third and fourth fingers separate and the, using the first finger to tighten the knot. <laughs> 